what's, what's fatherhood like for you now? Different, yeah. because, and, and you know, this is one of the most heartbreaking things for me is my two, my oldest and my middle son, Justin and Ian, would not, you know, Justin up until would have never known what a crack pipe looked like if he and Ian hadn't gotten together trying to throw all my pipes out at one point. And pipes and syringes and, and a whole drawer full of drug paraphernalia that they decided if they threw all that stuff out that I wouldn't get high anymore. Yeah. And they're, you know, that's only, only kids can think that way. And, and uh, you know, I, have, I, I live with all that for the rest of my life. How's John Henry? John Henry's um, beautiful and uh, smart. He has autism. And uh, he was diagnosed just before his second birthday, which was a little over a year. He turned, um, he turned three last week. But he's, uh, he's going to be okay. And uh, we got to figure this out. This is one, and they revised the numbers again week before last. This is one in 50 children are being diagnosed with this. And the rate for boys is higher than girls, and we don't know why. Now, think about that. That's... That's way beyond the AIDS epidemic. It's way beyond the influenza epidemic in, 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 uh, during World War I. It's, it's, and it's pandemic. It's all over the world. Um, it's obviously environmental. It's too large a group of people to be just a genetic fluke. Um, you were a, a gun guy for a long time. Has your position changed? It has, right? Oh, it changed a long time yeah, ago. Yeah, it yeah. changed when Justin was 14. He moved into my house, and he... Uh, he like, uh, I had a pistol under my bed loaded and he found it within a week after moving back into my house. And a nine millimeter pistol, full clip, and he hit it and he would not tell me where it was. And I didn't know what to do. And um, I knew he was lying. I, I still know when he's lying. And uh, <laughs> I just, I searched the place, couldn't find it. So I finally, um, I had my brother come over, we strip searched him, yeah. drove him out to a wilderness camp, they call it, this place where people send their kids when they can't control them anymore, and they're, I'm pretty sure they're hiring them out for slave labor to the state parks department, but <laughs> not proud of it, you know, but it, I didn't know what else to do, and I, and I dropped him off and wrote him a check, and then about 4.30 the next morning, it was January, and it got pretty cold, and they're out there sleeping in the tents, and Justin called me and told me where the gun was, and... <laughs> Where was yeah, it? I haven't had a gun in my house ever since. It was behind the shower. He'd, he'd like actually knocked a hole in the wall down low and put it behind the shower shell in his bathroom, and I just didn't see the hole.